today is the day, today is the day. So today is the day, today is the day I'm picking up the very famous man and he's on an airplane as we speak and I am heading to Edinburgh Airport to pick up this very, very famous man. Oh, we're at the airport now. A very famous man will be waiting. He's up ahead somewhere. I think I think I saw him waving. Oh, there he is. It's a famous man. There he is. Right, about to meet the famous man. How are you? Good nice to meet to you. See you. And you. How was your flight? Oh, it's okay actually. So what yeah. hand with anything? No, that's all right. We have arrived at the workshop. There we are. Here we are. There it John is. is here. Brian. Hello. <laughs> Hello Brian. Brian, this is John. You may recognise him. You may recognise him from certain movies. Damn good. Very good. <laughs> it's a good looking car, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna Just take to take my suit yeah. off now and get underneath <laughs> it and check it out. I guess you want say. to like rebuild the engine or something. Here we are with John Reese Davies. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for uh, bidding on this Volvo. I just wanted to ask you a few questions, which myself, initially, and I'm pretty sure all of the people watching this are desperate to know. So, why did you decide to buy a 500 pound Volvo from eBay? Well, this series of, of Volvos uh, in the so rough, roughly 96 to 98, mm -hmm. were really the best of these big Volvo estates. I don't much care for the modern ones. I don't think they're as reliable. Mm -hmm. I did buy one from a friend of mine, uh, and I did drive it 26 miles before the engine expired. Mm -hmm. and that was a 500-pound <laughs> Volvo, too. But, um, but these are a classic, and this one didn't look too bad. Um, I would have thought it would have gone for more. I thought that as well, actually. Yeah. Yes, I, I was surprised uh, that it went for so little. But now it doesn't matter because you're here. That's right. So it's right. worth it. Right. <laughs> so here I am, sitting in this freezing cold workshop, it's not actually. Uh, drinking <laughs> a fine cup of tea, though, and, um, and doing one of the great things that guys like to do, talk about wheels. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You're a confirmed motorhead, aren't you? Absolutely, yes. If the, the broken V12s are in about us are enough to confirm. Um, well, yeah, uh, yes. It, <laughs> yes it, uh, so how many V12 engines have you actually broken? I think I've broken three now. Uh, one of them is a beauty. There's a hole right through the side of it. <laughs> oh, that's yes, what. when they throw a leg out of bed, it gets very embarrassing, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, I like cars that I can understand. I grew up in Africa. Mm -hmm. Where if you broke down, there was no AA to come to your en engine. I've seen my father uh, lose a clutch on a, an old Dodge mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, take the gearbox off mm -hmm. on the side of the road, stop a bus that actually passed by us two days later, yeah. which just happened to be carrying mm -hmm. an old clutch, a right. bus clutch oh. uh, on it, and <laughs> hacksaw the... Yeah. The, 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 um, the asbestos um, liners off oh, no and then rivet New ones on. uh, ri rivet them on and then you wow know. yeah and carve them all into the right shape that's right that's yeah that's proper bodge repairing that's, that's right yeah, that's right, yeah, right. It's but amazing that's what you'll do when that was great fun yeah where, you know and so um, I believe that you also own an XGS yes well you've got that You've got a number of XJSs around here. Um, I had a slight altercation with with a, a man um, who who basically said, "You didn't come pick it up when I told you, and I, you know, I'm charging you storage for it." I said, "Well, I told you that you know, my schedule is impossible." Mm -hmm. And anyway, uh, so what we compromised was, I said, "Okay, I will give you that money." But I put an extra couple of grand in, and I want that XJS over there. Well, you know, is yeah, you can have that because I mean, I done it up for a bloke, and uh, you know, his mate of mine, and uh, and uh, so I I inherited this mm -hmm. XJ X 
Actually. JC, isn't it? Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, the, 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 the cabriolet yeah. version. It's not, ni- it's not a bad car, there's no rust in it. Oh. But it's black, and I hate black cars. Yeah. Black isn't a color, it's the absence of color. All of my cars are black. I noticed that. <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> and uh, so it's, I haven't done anything with it. Um, it runs sweetly enough, mm-hmm. but there's, you know, it's just not as positive as my old E-Type used yeah. to be. Yeah. As you happen to know, I happen to have a spare you have Jag V12 engine. You have engine. a spare V12, yeah. yeah, yeah but I would, I would but you're trying to prize that out of me. I am. Um, mm-hmm. You must get asked this a lot, but what is it like to be famous? <laughs> I mean, is this... Is this... I have a, a little bit of fame. You know, it is not impossible for me to go shopping. Oh, so you can still go to the shops and buy things? I can still go to shop and buy things. I may have to do a few selfies. Yeah. Actors have to understand that it is the audience Mm -hmm. that has made them, has allowed them to be whatever it is they've achieved. You know, it's it's a job. It takes you everywhere. You get to pretend to be other people. (laughs) <laughs> you uh, and you get to meet people. Yeah. Would you consider taking this five hundred pound Volvo on one of my five hundred pound banger rallies to Rome? Have you driven in Rome lately? I have actually, yes, <laughs> several times. I'm you watch. You've got to be a brave man to drive in Rome. I always think it is. I, I would, I would very happily go on a on, on a rally. My bet is that. This would be a very good car to take, actually. I think it would actually be uh, one of the, the reliable ones that makes it there and back. I would think so. I understand that £500 is the limit. Yes. And, and I paid 510 So yes. if I can persuade you to knock £10 well, off this sale, can I qualify? Can we put that £10 towards the V12? We could. Okay. Then we could say this was a £500 car do that All that right. would work and of course i'm just thinking about this now you, you know, could sleep in there i could do that you could you wouldn't yeah, even need a tent do that well Not you wouldn't really. need a tent in there would you karen allen and i were doing raiders of the lost ark in yeah. in in uh, tunisia and um, we were moving at night from one desert place to another in the sahara and we had this we had this driver and as soon as we got going the car conked out, and he got out, lifted the bonnet, and hit the battery with his shoe. <laughs> shoe. Uh, then we just drove on uh, another 10, 15, 20 miles, and he did it again. And I got out and looked. And basically, his, his, his clamp on the, the battery thing was loose, oh. and he was just banging it back on like that. <laughs> and, you know, the, the, old, the old Africa hand was saying, now, listen, my dear friend. Yeah. Don't do this, because if you keep doing this, you will shatter, you know, the, 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 the terminal, and it will go back into the battery, and then we'll be stuck. Yeah. Anyway, it happened again, and again, and I'm slowly getting angrier with him. <laughs> and we, we, you know, we, we're driving it up to another village, and I say, now look, stop, get a spanner, tighten it up. Yeah. Do not do it again, because let me tell you something. If we break down in the desert, you are not sleeping in the car. Yeah. I'm going to kick your ass down the road, <laughs> and you're out. And that's exactly what happened. We oh, finally did, and he knocked the terminal through, and I grabbed him. Oh, no. Oh, I shouldn't do these things, should I? <laughs> but in the world of real men... <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> that's how it works. Um, and you're going to drive a Dodge that you've not seen, yes. that hasn't driven for... 15 years. 15 years, and you're just going to take it on a small road trip of what? Three and a half thousand miles? <laughs> Two and a half? Three and a half? Two and a half, yeah. That yeah. seems reasonable. That's yeah. the sort yeah. of mad thing I would do, actually, yes. Anyway, good, good luck with your safari. Well, thank you very much. And um, now I think it's time that I got on the road f- thank you. with mine. I wish you the best of luck for your Volvo. And well... And if it survives the long trip to the Isle of Man, which must take at least four or five hours from here, if it survives that, mm-hmm. then maybe we'll make the rust to Rome. Wow. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> take care, my boy. Right. I
loved it. It's been <laughs> yeah, what a nice guy. What a proper genuine funny funny guy. Yeah, you never know what to expect. But he was nice. I had no idea what to expect. He was really funny. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I think I spent most of the afternoon laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this very, very special video. And thank you so much to John for coming all the way up to pick up this Volvo and taking the time out of your busy schedule to film this interview with us. It's been great. And thank you to Brian for helping. Thank you to everybody else who's been involved in this day. It's been really good fun. And um, tomorrow I'm going to New York. Fine. <laughs> There's a spare seat in the plane. <laughs> <laughs>